With eight professional career wins and a U.S. Open major championship to his name, you really can't argue Matt Fitzpatrick being a golf champion. But what he can do on the green doesn't tell nearly enough about his lifestyle. Stay with us as we look into building the lifestyle of a golf champion like PGA Tour's Matt Fitzpatrick. So Matt was born Matthew Thomas Fitzpatrick in September 1994 in Sheffield, England. He grew up playing golf but has also been really big on soccer. He's a lifelong Sheffield United fan in the English football division. Matt studied high school at Tapton School and sat A-levels in 2013 before going pro the following year. Many don't know this, but Matt isn't the only Fitzpatrick on the big golf stage. That's right, his younger brother, Alex Fitzpatrick, actually played college golf while attending Wake Forest University in North Carolina. And that's not all. Alex got to compete at the 2019 and 2021 Walker Cup tournaments and eventually turned pro in 2022. We think it's fair to say that they've got a bit of golf flowing in their veins. However, this is isn't even us taking a dig at Alex, but it looks like the older Fitzpatrick brother has got more golf in his blood than the younger, and we're talking about way before his success on the European and PGA Tour. Matt had one hell of an amateur career between 2011 and 2014. We're talking about winning numerous awards and events, including the U.S. Amateur that saw him earn invitations to the 2014 Masters Tournament, the U.S. Open, and Open Championship, provided he remained an amateur. He'd also made the cut at the 2013 Open Championship and finished as a low amateur, winning the silver medal and was once the world number one on the amateur golf rankings. His amateur career was so impressive that it didn't surprise most people when he opted to drop out of college to chase a full-time amateur golf career. Oh, you didn't know? Well, now you do. Thank us later. Matt enrolled at Northwestern University to play college golf with the Northwestern Wildcats in September 2013. Nothing new, nothing we've not seen before. But then, just after one quarter in January 2014, Fitzpatrick decided to quit school and focus on his golf career. We don't really have to tell you how much that decision paid off. Since then, he's gone pro at the 2014 US Open, competed at numerous European and PGA Tour tournaments, and established himself as one of the next generation's leaders for the game. He's also appeared at a Ryder Cup event, being ranked as the ninth best player in the world according to the official World Golf Rankings. And in June 2022, Matt did what some veteran golfers are yet to achieve. He won the US Open as his first major title after a T7 finish in the 2016 Masters, a T20 finish at the 2019 Open Championship, and a T5 finish at the 2022 PGA Championship. Add all these to an impressive eight professional career wins on the European Tour, and you can see why we said dropping out of school paid off for Matt. And speaking of paying off, Matt isn't just winning tournaments and stuff for the name and stuff, maybe a bit for that, but he's definitely getting paid, getting paid a whole lot. Over the last six or seven years of his pro career, Matt has already made a total career earnings of $21,200,000. $45,958. Like his skill on the course, his payroll has only become fatter and fatter by the year, starting with 2016, when he made a total of $404,667, $334,088 in 2017, $448,215 in 2018, and by 2019, it tripled to $1,553,750. But Matt wasn't done yet. In 2020, he made $2,109,000 $709 and $181,000 in tour championship bonuses, bringing his total for the year to a whopping $2,290,709. The following year had him bring in $2,252,351. And 2022, his best year yet, he had a total earning of $12,835,172, $7,012,672 from official payouts, $107,500 from unofficial official, a tour championship bonus of $750,000, and a player impact program fee of $5 million. A couple of months into the 2023 season, Matt Fitzpatrick is already on $1,127,006 in earnings solely from the course. His massive career earnings have him ranked in the top 20 all-time earners on the DP World Tour. Put in mind that this dude isn't even 30 years old yet, so just in case you didn't know, Matt is rich like that. But note we mentioned solely from the course. Course. That's because being paid on the course and winning tournaments isn't the only way Matt makes his money. He makes millions through endorsement deals with many brands and mega companies. He had a partnership with Under Armour that lasted from when he was 14 years old till 2021. He also had a multi-year deal with Castor, one with Skechers for his footwear and headwear from March 2022, and another with Rolex from 2016. And these aren't even half of his endorsements. You heard that right. He still has deals with golf management company Troon, Betnardi, and 
and Titleist for his golf equipment, ProDaviti for consultancy, Demand Science, and the video game publishers 2K. Pretty impressive, yeah? All these earnings both on and off the golf course bring his total estimated net worth to around $10 million. That's already a whole lot of millions for a dude just in the early years of his career. And one thing is sure, as long as Matt keeps up his wonderful performances on the green, his net worth is set to keep getting higher. But other than how much he's achieved on the course and how much he's made into his bank account, what's the rest of Matt Fitzpatrick's life about? Well, his love life is definitely something we should get into. Remember he attended Northwestern University for some months before going pro? Even though Matt didn't spend a lot of time there, he had enough time to meet his now girlfriend, Lydia Cassida. Cassida is a Milton, Georgia native, and she and Matt met at the university as student athletes. Yep, she also used to play sports, not golf though. Cassida was actually on the university lacrosse team and played as a reserve attacker on the Northwestern lacrosse team. She made her collegiate debut in a season opening win against Virginia and got her first career goal and assist against Marquette. Till the end of her time on the lacrosse team in 2016, 17, she was an integral part of the team and one of her career highlights was scoring against Louisville in the 2016 NCAA tournament. She graduated in 2017 from Northwestern University with a degree in communications and media studies. A while after that, it was reported that Fitzpatrick was looking for a house in Atlanta to be closer to Cassida. The plan was for her to move back to her hometown in Georgia, but eventually she ended up based in West Palm Beach. Cassida works as a marketing representative for a travel company and has been pictured with Matt multiple times, including including at Wimbledon in 2018 and at a Boston Celtics game. Although they're believed to have been together since their college days sometime around 2020, Fitz was rumored to be dating Denise Kazaniuk. Denise is also a sportswoman, a tennis player who achieved a career-high ranking on the WTA of 200 in the singles. She and Matt were last pictured at the 2020 DP World Tour Championships. Either way, Matt has yet to get married, but he is still very big on family. He largely credits his parents for his success in his golf career today. He once said, My mom and dad have done everything, drove me up and down the country when I was an amateur, booked flights for me, any advice I've ever wanted, I'd always turn to them and what they thought first. Matt also encouraged his younger brother and supported Alex when he chose to play college golf at Wake Forest instead of Northwestern, where Matt had that stint. Given Alex has finally gone pro in 2022, it'll not be a surprise to see the two brothers on the same Ryder Cup team someday. Outside of his family members, though, Fitzpatrick is widely considered one of golf's nice guys. He's always jolly and calm even when his swing doesn't quite get where he'd have preferred. As a result, many fellow golfers hold him in high esteem, and it was apparent from how he was congratulated on Twitter after his first major win in June 2022. The likes of Justin Rose, Sir Nick Faldo, and Colin Montgomery, and ex-soccer players Gary Lineker, Alan Shearer, and Sir Tony McCoy all shared positive comments to congratulate Matt. Even Rory McIlroy was seen embracing Matt after his final round at the tournament. Legendary golf caddy Billy Foster is also a big fan of the 2013 Mark H. McCormick medal winner saying, Matt is the most professional player I've ever had the pleasure to work for. He works so hard and does everything right. For someone who's caddied for Seve Ballesteros and Lee Westwood, that's definitely the highest praise. You probably didn't know about this as well, but Fitz is a big geek. He has notes where he jots about every shot he has ever played to review his progress and errors. He also makes use of a not-so-common training device called the stack. The device trains him to increase his swing speed and give his drives more power to go longer. And as the nice guy he is, Matt also does a lot of charity giving. In 2019, he donated his entire Hero Challenge prize money to charities and has also participated in a number of charity games. There's more, though. Fitzpatrick is also a patron of the Sheffield Children's Hospital charity and raises funds for the hospital. If you ask us, Matt Fitzpatrick has got all the requirements to build the lifestyle of a golf champion. Do you agree? Let us know in the comment section. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and enjoy our other videos.